hello I just want to share to you this simple way of salvation through the word of God thank you the simple way of salvation or the Roman road to eternal salvation through Jesus Christ Who is good? The Bible says in Romans chapter 3 verse 10 to 12, As it is written, There is none righteous, no not one. There is none that understand it. There is none that seek it after God. They are all gone out of the way. They are together become unprofitable. There is none that do it good, no not one. Why? Because of sin, there is no one who always does what is right, no not one. Who has sinned? The answer is, we are all have sinned, nobody is good. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3 verse 23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It means we all have sinned, we are not good enough for God's glory. My sin and your sin separates us from God. Because God is holy, he does not want sins in his kingdom. So what is the eternal cause of sin? In Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Death is what people earn when we sin. Death is the separation of man from God which is the second death. In Revelation chapter 20 verse 14 says, And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death, means eternal death of those who did not place their faith in Jesus Christ. So which should you choose now? It is death which is the wages of sin, or life which is the gift of God. There's nothing can save you, your religion, your education, your wealth, the government, and even by following the law cannot save you. The Bible says in Romans chapter 3 verse 20, Therefore by the deeds of the law there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin, means no one can be made right with the God by following the law. But thanks to God, because of His love, He made a way, His remedy to save us from eternal death to eternal life. The Bible says in Romans chapter 5 verse 8 to 9, But God commendeth His love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Means, we are justified by the blood of Jesus Christ, surely through him you shall be saved.
you can be saved through your faith. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, For by grace are you saved through faith, in that not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. <laughs> Means, through your faith in Jesus Christ, no more second death or eternal death, but eternal life. So what must you do now? You must place or surrender your complete faith in Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10 verse 9 and 10 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So if you confess or repent with thy mouth to the Lord Jesus Christ, and if you believe that God has raised Jesus Christ from the dead, you shall be saved. That is your faith, salvation by faith in thine heart. So do you want now to place or surrender your complete faith in the Lord Jesus Christ? If you want now, I will guide you to pray and just follow after me. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, I believe that you were died on the cross of Calvary and was buried, and on the third day you rose again from the dead because of my sins. Lord Jesus, I confess now with my mouth of all my sins that I have committed. Please forgive me, Lord Jesus. I humbly submit my life to you now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. This I ask all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.